Were you aware of the fact that the James Webb Telescope can detect signs of life in Jupiter's icy moon Europa? Now, that came as a shock, right? The most exciting thing about Europa is that it contains the three core elements needed to support life, water, chemistry and energy. Had it not been for the JWST, we wouldn't even have got the slightest hint of what a great thing we are about to come across. Curious to know how the JWST can make such a miracle happen? Well, just stay with us till the end of the video, and you will know everything about it. With that being said, welcome to Space News Unfold. How shocked will you be if we say that the Chaos Terran of Jupiter's moon Europa shows evidence that life can exist here? The very fact that Europa has ice as its surface gives a hint that at least microorganisms can exist here. Laura Kreidberg, a researcher and astronomer at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Germany, had said, I think the earliest discussions about James Webb were happening in the 1990s when first was in elementary school. Now, 25 years after the first planet was discovered around another star, we know that pretty much every star, on average, has at least one planet. Well, today's discussion might not be around a planet, but it is very much around a star, and that too, belonging to the largest planet of the solar system, Jupiter. Won't you be thrilled to know that the James Webb Telescope can reveal if any planet or moon is surrounded by air? And, once it succeeds in disclosing the exact information about it, we won't be far from making life extraterrestrial. And, that's when history will be created. Can you ever imagine how the possible presence of an ocean below the icy moon Europa has the potential to change the usual order of things? Who could have even thought that, apart from Earth, we are going to settle on Jupiter's moon? The question that lies at hand is will the JWST be successful in its endeavor to confirm the fact that life can be supported on Europa's surface? One of the main reasons behind NASA designing the JWST was to extract greater information about the formation of galaxies and sustenance of life on exoplanets. Unfortunately, the robots and telescopes that will be employed to meet the core objective of this mission have to dig deeper into the icy surface of Europa. What is even more fascinating is to know that the JWST can trace if alien life exists on Europa. But doing that won't be a simple task for the Webb telescope. Of course, the scientists are claiming that the JWST can achieve this extraordinary feat of spotting exoplanets situated several light years away from Earth within 60 hours. But, is that all? No, obviously not. The main hurdle that lies in the way of the web is to investigate the presence of an atmosphere around Europa. While some scientists are of the view that the web can confirm the presence of an atmosphere around planets and moons in 10 transits or less, the possibility of the presence of clouds may make things difficult for the telescope. One relief factor is that, since Jupiter is a giant gas planet, the James Webb Telescope may not have that much difficulty in tracing the layers of the atmosphere, but of course, this is not going to be a smooth path at all. What UCSC astrophysicist Maggie Thompson had said once, absolutely makes sense. Oxygen is often talked about as one of the best biosignatures, but it's probably going to be hard to detect with JWST. In such a case, how is Webb going to come up with valuable information? Methane can act as an alternative biosignature, methane is a gas that can give a hint about the possible presence of life on Europa. Webb then may look for traces of methane in this moon, but no one seems to be sure of the fact if it is going to be a reliable factor in endowing a moon with the property that it can support life. Lots of challenges are lying ahead. It is yet to be seen how these can be thwarted. Keep watching because you are yet to come across the best part of it, and the mind-blowing twists we are going to share with you. It has been revealed that the subsurface of Europa's oceans is rich in high oxygen levels. And the most shocking news is that the oxygen level is as high as Earth's seas. Oh wait. Does that directly imply that Europa is absolutely habitable? The icy crust of Europa has hydrogen and oxygen as its constituents. The radiation that permeates the surface of the Moon from Jupiter engages in a reaction with ice, thus producing oxygen along with certain other byproducts such as hydrogen peroxide. Do you know that the subterranean sea of Europa might have the possibility to host microorganisms that exist on Earth too? Doesn't that already mean that Europa is a perfect match to support life on Earth? Space researchers believe that, if life had ever existed on Europa, signs of life may bubble out of the ocean that had been buried into the surface. And, guess what? The JWST can then capture these snaps and relay these to NASA. Isn't that quite a shocking fact? 
Once this happens, the world will witness one of the biggest revolutions in space history. Finding a moon where life would be possible is undoubtedly an alarming event. Researchers have come across a major challenge that may squash the hopes of finding life on Europa. And yes, it is a big challenge. Christopher Chiba, an associate professor of geological and environmental sciences, has revealed that sunlight won't be adequate at Europa to support life. Wondering why? Well, this is because the ocean lies below the ice layer, that is way too thick to be penetrated by the rays of the sun. As a result, photosynthesis won't occur. So, how can life possibly exist here? No matter how much the JWST tries to bring out important information about Europa, the obstruction caused by the non-allowance of photosynthesis poses a big challenge. How can life exist if the basic source of energy, photosynthesis and the production of oxygen comes to a stop? At the moment, no one seems to know what the solution to get rid of this challenge can be. But, a great danger is looming large. If Europa lacks sources of energy, not a single life can be sustained there. Isn't it a premonition that all our hopes of finding traces of life on Europa are going to be suppressed and ultimately destroyed? Moreover, there is uncertainty as to the range of oxygen levels that is going to infuse with the ocean of Europa. Does it mean that Europa is not the right fit to sustain life? Nothing is known for sure, and things seem to be dark indeed. In the near future, if the Earth gets destroyed or gets impacted negatively by some meteorite, black hole or another element, nothing will remain of life. To create a backup and make life extraterrestrial, working towards investigating and ensuring that Europa supports life, is essential. But then again, it is not an issue that lies under human control. Does that mean Europa, despite having several true qualities of being a life-supporting moon, won't succeed in emerging as the second Earth? The predecessor of the JWST, the Hubble telescope, had shown evidence of water vapor rising from plumes. Oh yes, you have heard it right. Don't get disappointed just yet, because the James Webb Telescope has arrived, and it is all set to give us valuable input about the present state of Europa. Three days from the date when the JWST will be deployed in space for this mission, you can expect to make yourself aware of some incredible news about this special moon. Webb's search for another Earth is on. The unconnected dots are going to be joined soon, and with JWST's help, Europa's evolution from a mere moon of Jupiter to a moon supporting life is going to be made possible, for real. Let's just wait for Webb to solve all the mysteries related to Europa. The wait is going to be worth it. What do you think about Webb's endeavors to discover signs of life in Europa? How excited are you about this groundbreaking, revolutionary invention? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe button to stay notified of the new video releases. See you in our next video.